With a yo ho ho, it's Tail of the Toaster. Welcome to the first in a series of videos covering the grandfather route in Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones, Thunder Flash, and Wildfire. I'm playing on Wildfire, but I have made some adjustments to my team to make it feel a bit more Thunder Flashy, if you will. But before we even get into a match, there's lots to clear up. So, first of all, the question is. If you're coming across this video and you do not know how to unlock the Grandfather route, well, if you're playing Thunder Flash, then you first need to finish the post-game to unlock the Nosfanatica match and then beat that. Or if you're playing Wildfire, same thing, but instead it's uh, Wolfram's team, Luna Howl. You need to beat that team on your version, then link that game with the opposite version that has beaten the other team. So one Thunder Flash, one Wildfire. That unlocks one final boss called Children of the Night, and I refer you to that video if you need more instructions on how to do it. But at the end, you get this level 99 route. And these teams are not just level 99, they have boosted stats across the board as well. They are super tough. This is the first time I'm ever doing the Grandfather route, but it is not my first time doing a level 99 team. I have 11 uh, videos that I've released previously, on the ultimate route, which is the other level 99 route in Chrono Stones, hosted by Mr. Veteran in Inazuma Tower in the past. So have a look at that series of videos if you want to know how to unlock that and what the teams are. But within the Grandfather route, we have some entirely original teams, in contrast to the ones in the ultimate route that are uh, big bosses of previous games. First of all, we have the Snow Weasels. And that is where my knowledge ends. I don't know any more about this team, but we will be taking them on with my updated, where am I looking? <laughs> updated Dragon Kit level 99 team. And of course, as you know, I am playing in Wildfire for the sake of not bringing two games up to level 99 standard, but we're gonna be getting more of a Thunder Flash feel with that King Arthur music as we update my squad to finally include Bylong as a level 99 player alongside Knockoff Bylong right next to him. We've got Bylong and Zeto in the wings. Even though I've been calling Zeto a Knockoff Bylong throughout the whole series, but he's actually speculated to be a descendant of Axel because he's got Surtur as his spirit and fire element and all that, but that's too late now. He's a Knockoff Bylong. Uh, my actual Bylong has got back attack, air boost. And most importantly, a mix and match with Victor. I could give him uh, the mix and match with Chuga if I wanted and make him the Thundertaker spammer, but for now, I'm going to keep Soul on board to use the Thundertaker strategy, while Bylong is going to try and raw overpower them with not just Zero Magnum, but also a certain Mixy Max move shared between the two players. We've also now got Pants as an actual player this time. She's always been present for the level 99 matches, but she did not really participate. But now she has been trained up so that all of her moves are going to be really good. And we've got the Fighting Spirit Trigger on her, which is one of the hardest things to get in the game because you have to S rank the other level 99 route in the game, the ultimate route. But I did it. I did it on screen, in fact. And so... We get to um, make use of that as our captain of defense. Now, looking at this team, it does indeed have Dracul on it because the backstory of the Grandfather route is that this person, Grandfather, sent the version exclusive players, Dracul and Wolfram, off to find. Oh, there he is as well. Sent him off to find talented players to put them against us in this level 99 route. And this is what they've come up with. We've got Cirrus Wisp from um, uh, Northern Fang, I think they're called. So, not like completely original characters, but we've even got Janus in here. Loving his moveset too, apart from Sharpshooter. Um, yeah, Bale, uh, I think he's from Ancient Darkness. So yeah, plenty of these I don't recognize, but we've got King in goal, that's certainly familiar. So, let's just go into it and see what this level 99 team boosted by Grandfather are going to be like. First, we're going to pass to Bylong and give him his chance to shine. Starting with the Mixy Max with Victor. 
Here it is. We get Great Blaster and Spirit Big Moves off of this. At the cost to his visual appearance. This looks rubbish. <laughs> but uh, that's it. We can't really help that one. By the way, Pants also has King Long when mixed and matched. And Knock Off by Long has inherited Sicker from Pants when I got the Golden Chest. So now he can be even more of a Knock Off by Long. But for now, let's go with White Wyvern. I think that's the end of the info dump now, by the way. We can... <laughs> We can get to actually playing that. It would be a shame if I did all of that informative introductory talking and then I just completely blew this match. <laughs> I just uh, I just lose the ball straight away and get the, the defeat. But Janus is going to be the first to mix and match. That's kind of a shame. I wanted to preserve the appearance of my original favourite character before we had uh, Mr. Bylong appearing over here. We're actually going to put the two head to head. That's fantastic! My favourite from the Go era against my favourite from the original trilogy. And in this case, Bylong has won because this is this is no Jordan, it is just Janus at the moment. But 1800 power on the critical warp step. And Joseph King is not mix and match right now. So I'm going to try and get past him with Great Blaster. The move... Uh, it's the last level up move in Victor's moveset, but canonically it is meant to be a co-op shoot between Victor and Bylong. They just never got the chance uh, to show it. It was going to be uh, in the crossover movie with LBX, Dambol Senki. We actually have like a picture on the internet of Victor and Bylong using Great Blaster in the movie, but it just didn't make the final cut because that match with Inazuma Legend National was... Uh, gone in the blink of an eye, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, we now get to have that here, not by getting them to do it as a collab shooting move, but simply by fusing the two players into one and making them use Great Blaster. Well, whatever works. All oh, these spirits are Omega level. That's going to be tough. Um, we'll get Apollo out there in the back, but for now we're doing pretty comfortably with Bylong. He's been showing himself well on the debut. Brynhilda has gone for... Ah, I guess, uh, yeah, they're in possession. I was waiting for the Valkyrie signal, but nope. We get to nick it with a very good Vac Attack Z. And off we go on the run. I'm going to avoid Janus this time to have more <laughs> battles between Tale of the Toaster's favourites. Yeah, recent times I've already been prioritising Bylog enough, especially with the uh, plan to maybe cover Big Bang. For now, so Great Blaster is the best move in our arsenal because it has the most stun. I think it's ever so slightly stronger than Zero Magnum, but uh, if they are the same power, then we still uh, find Great Blaster to be a little better just because of the stun gauge. But we'll go for Zero Magnum next, the original shooting move between Bylong and Tezcat before he got that alliance with Victor and it is enough to score again. King needs to mix and match. Well, I don't want to get cocky, but um, so far looking on track towards that S rank, they haven't even really done anything to put up a fight against us yet. We've got Soul Spirit out, we've got Mecha Mark. I know we haven't got his spirit out yet, just the mix and match, but that's the plan. Our three for now are Bylong, Soul, and Mecha Mark, but I will only bring out Mecha Marks um, when they actually pick their own action of their own. I don't want to press the spirit button and then they just bring out another one in response when Mecha Mark is not actually participating yet. Um, so Bylong's spirit is over halfway gone. If he was mixed and matched with Sicker, then uh, with Chugula Yang, he'd be able to use Forever Armored, but we're keeping that on Soul. If we need him, <laughs> we might not at this rate. Uh, the, the one with Victor working out very well so far. But what was that? Yeah, so we're saying this is nearly done on White Wyvern, but he's still got Lancelot to come after this. Let's just go for White Hurricane, cycle through them all. We clearly have time by the looks of things. White Hurricane is not weak by any stretch of the imagination. 1053. I've done no kick training on Bylong at all. Not a single special training stat apart from the two I did on screen. He's got very good boots and equipment and all of his moves are fully leveled up, but we don't need any more because King is just 
laying the side down. Alright, so we're going to be able to move out of strategy mode very quickly in this case then and just talk about the match in general, the snow weasels. So what actually makes them the snow weasels then? Are they just all air elements? Well, that can't be right because it's got Vulpine on him, but maybe he's just uh, the one exception. Yeah, like, I had no idea. Finally, we get the King Vixen match. That's going to make things a lot tougher, but we've got time. Um, I didn't know whether these teams were going to have genuinely completely original characters that you don't see anywhere else, or if it was just uh, borrowing from here and there. Indeed, I don't even know what the other teams are going to be called. This is still blind. You might find that a little hard to believe with how well this is going so far, but trust me, if I hadn't done those 11 <laughs> matches in the Ultimate Tournament and S ranked them off screen, then I would not be looking this comfortable with the strategy in a level 99 match. Like, that's what I can't tell, is that if um, the people watching this, they may... The grandfather route's definitely a lot more known than the ultimate route, because the ultimate route is only uh, available via a Wi-Fi password, and it's not got any story relevance, so people don't really talk about that one. There's a grandfather challenge. Grandfather route is seen as the big finish to the game, with a very good reward line at the end as well. We got beat by Janus! So now, it is 1-1 between Vylong and the guy Jordan. Well, well. I will now bring out the stationer on Mechamark, but we've got to act here. He's got Plasma Shadow Omega. Um, so the way Plasma Shadow works, if it's not evolved, then it only has like one FSP and it can do a single action before it wears off. But the more uh, actions it does, and like it's also called Shadow Sword because Janus is not part of Protocol Omega. It's not going to be a fence command. You very, very rarely get to see uh, the names like Shadow Sword, Shadow Guard, and uh, Shadow Hand, but they are there if you give the moves to the right people. Um, but yeah, the Plasma Shadows, they get a lot more FSP uh, the more you level them up. They're never going to be fantastic, and certainly when people rave about various Protocol Omega players like their Goalkeeper and 2A, being some of the best in the game, that's definitely under the condition that you give them a different spirit. <laughs> um, like, so many times I've seen people in Inazuma raved about as the best character in the game, or the best of a certain element, or this is the best move, but people are always saying that under the condition that they're going to be customised a lot. Like, Volpine is seen as one of the best players because he's got the fourth highest kick stat in the game, if I'm not mistaken, but... Although I really like his mix and match with the Wolf Storm, and I keep it because I like to keep my team as canon as possible, I don't really like breaking the game as such. I should have gone for Cascade in March in the first place, that sucks. Um, yeah, so I've kept his basic mix and match with the Wu Gene, but people call Vulpine the best in the game under the condition that, you know, you're actually using his... Um, oh dear, I pressed the mix and match couldn't bring one out and then baited the opponents to do this. That's the exact problem I was talking about before, and offside as well. Well, that was the worst sequence of events I could have picked. Oh, dear. And our soul's going to be running it down. Hey, Joseph King's stunned. When did that happen? I sincerely don't remember. But we can't bring out another spirit. Um, yeah, so I've always been the kind to... Uh, Keep whatever's canonically available. Even the mix and matches, I'm kind of like that as well. Trinity Force wins out. And we have to stop it with an absolute barrier again. Trinity Force, one of the best tactics in the game. It just puts whoever's got that spirit right in front of the goal. So all of my special tactics are gone. That's it. Can't use them anymore. And already... I'm in big danger here. Come on, Prezari. Okay, she actually wins outright. By how big of a margin? Only via critical. That's how badly I need it. <gasps> Offside again! In this... Oh, fuming. Absolutely fuming. And that's the end for Victor's second spirit now. So we need to pick 
uh, someone else to have one. But for now, we just need to not let them score because, yeah, if Bylog's finished, that's the canonical moment where my guy Jordan comes out and reclaims his former glory as the number one. He's gotten past Prezari. Ah, uh, do I have an absolute barrier? I, well, no. <laughs> We're just saying that. I've used them both. They are going to go for a shot here. It's Vulpine with nothing on board. Superior Crayon Power. And it's even Phantasmagoria plus 2Z just for the extra insult. 860 without a mix and match or a spirit. That's how strong these guys can be when you let them take a shot. And I still need to get two of my own. See how close that was? I could have... I could have lost that one. For now, we're out of time. So if the thing he wants to end, it's very rarely overrun that much. Wow. Okay, Mike, thanks for your involvement. As usual, you've done nothing other than speak. So, Bylong's gonna go. We'll leave his knockoff behind. Uh, I'm thinking either Joan, Van, or Ricardo. I'm actually gonna go with Joan. Let's have... Her in the frontal defensive position. And then Pants can kind of play upfield a little bit. I think Arian might be... You know, Arian or my own Vulpine. Vulpine's a little bit confusing to have on here, though. Like, I wouldn't know which one to pass to. I might just get rid of him uh, for this one. Put Aster in his slot, and then you can just be Ricardo, I guess. Right. Um, Pants is never going to be able to score. Not with that moves or that kickstart. So, hmm, I'll think about the second spirit in the moment. For now, we've got another one from Soul to use. So that's one whole mix and match and spirit slot. Spare, I do not know what to use it on yet, but I think I'll just make that decision as we get further up the pitch and see who happens uh, to get involved with the proceedings. Especially because right now I missed the spirit button. And it didn't even reload in time, so that's unfortunate. The next one we really need to bring out is number two from Soul. But we couldn't, because <laughs> I missed the button, as I always seem to do. That was Mike's chance for a bit of involvement there. For now, they're getting dangerously close. Gloopy Goopy Goo didn't even threaten Dracul. Oh, Prezari gets there just in time. I don't think she can stop him. <laughs> oh, all right. So Gloopy Goopy Goo gets beaten out by a dribble, but Obliteration beats Heaven's Time. That is type advantages for you. Go on, Mike, have the ball. <sighs> I do try my best to have him on the team, but he's not the most useful, is he? Oh, dear. Let's go for a double god hand and pray for the best. Oh, well, okay, we're pretty comfy, actually, but that S rank is getting a little further out of reach. I need two more goals, and I'm starting to run out of time somewhat, because I'm just not pressing the offense here. For now, there's the block. That's the strongest move I've got. We'll get a little better when we fully evolved it. Pass to Arian for now, and you know what? He can be the one, because I've got no one to pass to around this area, and... We've still got that mix and match with Arthur, with his own spirit, uh, the best move set it can be, etc, etc. And he's our captain, it's, you know, canonically good and all that. Um, let's go for Arch Pegasus first, though. Just because it's one we can level up, if anything, and it, it must be a bit better. For now, we will go back to spamming the same move. There, we're putting two Aryan moves back to back, Sonido Tunnel and Whirly Whirly. E, am I going to do this, though? Two goals to get. Aaron's going unchallenged. Pants is following him up the back. Here we go. No spirit on King. All right. Ultimate 11 assault. Fantastic. And we get the crit as well. It was nearly 2,000 power. Wowee. And Pants is part of it for the first time. That's brilliant. Shame she hasn't actually done anything, but her spirit trigger... Like, I have to assume it's one of the best in the game because I have only seen it as a reward for beating the ultimate route with an S rank. I've never seen any other player use it. 
I mean, if they thought to give an Inazuma 11 character guns, then they must be good, right? But, um, yeah, it's, um, it's her move scatter shot. I might... No, we need to... We need to soul, don't we? Um, I'll try and bring it, bring it into play at some point, though, towards the end. Because scatter shot, clearly very good. Uh, soul is there. And yeah, there's only it's one of the hardest in the game. Many people have never been able to see it. So if I've got something like that on one of my favourite recruits in Inazuma 11 ever, then the best, the most I can do is use it, right? Let's see if we can get that fifth goal though, because then we'd be very, very welcome to just start using a defender upfield to see what they can do. Um, my hyper swipe is never going to be good enough for beating things like this. So we'll try and get that fifth goal, and if we can do so, then our reward is some actual usage of Rika Matsushita. That's Pants' real name, if you didn't know. Okay, Plasma Shadow is armified on Janus. I'm not sure who he's mixed and matched with. Like, I could have guessed Dracul, but it can't be because he's on the pitch. But it's just wonderful to see that he's actually being the leading force in this one. Even if we can easily beat him with Solar Surprise Z, you know, he's already played his bit. He's doing a great job, even showing us the name of the Plasma Shadow moves. Uh, so then, I don't think we need the stun, you know. King is fire, so we can't beat it. Let's just go for Atomic Flare, because it is actually the same strength as Solar Nexus only recently checked. 893, that wasn't as good. I forget how much... Uh, more shooting power there is on the likes of Biolong than Soul. Uh, the good news is his spirit is nearly done. His mix and match is nearly done, but the bad news, yeah, we're in the middle of the pitch now, getting beaten out by Janus. I should have gone for the Thundertaker. That was a little foolish of me. Janus will probably lose that spirit now. So let's catch up to him as quick as we can. Arian, that's not good timing at all! Oh, can we do this? No, not without the spirit. That's horrendous timing to lose that spirit. Sorry, Pants, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer as we go for Kukulkan on Arian. They're doing another one too. Station is halfway done. Just got across the fingers. White Wyvern is going to be our last major threat. That was me pressing that just to check if I could do anything, but I couldn't. He's going to go for a White Breath. I don't know if we can beat that. 905. We could have beaten that if our spirit was fresh. I'm not sure about now. Well, he is down to 798. Type advantage too as well, isn't it? but it's not enough. That is a real shame. Ah, we were so close to an S rank. Genuinely touching distance. I even had the fifth goal lined up, potentially. I don't think Thundertaker would have gone in, but man. And now, no matter what we do, this is a B rank. It's a win, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I could go for as many goals as I wanted, and there's no getting around the fact that we did not S-rank this one. That's a shame, because I've had three in a row now on screen, I believe, and that would have been a great way to kick off the grandfather route in style. But instead, Janus keeps it up. He has been the MVP of this one, no doubt about it. Right then, three still active. Here's Glenur. Can't remember if we actually got to see that when we took on Nosfanatica, but I mean, I won't lie, the, the Nosfanatica video is probably my least favourite video of the series and a real disservice to Thunderflash, my supposed version of preference. Um, yeah, I just wasn't ready for it when I gave it a try. I got demolished. Well, I na okay, I narrowly lost because I underestimated them a little bit, I think, or just didn't know what to do um, and then went for the second try and demolished them <laughs> and it was like well 
that was such a big win. I'm tempted to re-record and make it a little bit more believable, but I've just spent an hour of my life doing this. I, I don't want to re-record it just for the sake of making it less favourable for me. Let's just have one demonstration of how good I can be in Azuma 11, I guess, but I didn't want that. I prefer the anime-style narrow victories. Unless it's here in a competition route, then I want as many goals as I can, please. For now, Holy Roller 2Z is gonna give him another one, because did you see the numbers? 1700 raw! We couldn't have done anything about that with a crit! I'm definitely high key sick of this music now as well, by the way. This is not fitting at all. Um. But fine, now is the time to bring out the trigger on pants. And pass up field, go straight for a long shot, because if I can't score I might as well level up some moves instead. See Pants' uh, move is a defensive one, so we'll try and bring that out. Uh, when given the opportunity, I think we're out of time. 899. He's not stunned anymore, but that's fine. So I guess next time uh, we might see a little bit more of Trigger. But uh, things we've learned from this. Bylong's pretty awesome, and we had a great opportunity with this one while King wasn't mixed and matched. But unfortunately, I flubbed it in the end. But hey ho, it happens. Hopefully, off screen, I'll be able to S rank this one. And we have the victory! Oh, this, oh, this is impossible. Don't get him to say it. Right, and now I've got to beat him again off screen as well. That's so sad, but hey. Treasure Hunter Mystique pulling through. We've got Luck Boost Plus, as well as the Old World Fine Veggies and the Snow Weasel's Badge, which is a guaranteed thing, naturally. But there we go. That is match number one in the grandfather route with a very sorry looking B considering how close we were. But the next match is the Golden Bears. See you then. I love it, we get the Thundertaker into Dragon Driver, the perfect synchronization of Thunder Flash and Wildfire for the fifth goal that should net us the S rank. It's not guaranteed because this match is not even halfway done, they can very easily score, but I will pop back in to say I am amazed with Great Blaster. I think it's just as good at stunning the goalkeepers as... Thundertaker is, I'm one shot stunning these keepers with Great Blaster, which is co of course level 5 because it's it's the move of my Victor that I raised up to level 99 and gave him the level 99 move individually. Yeah, it's doing 1100 power on a fresh spirit and still over a thousand after that and it is reliably stunning with every single shot. This is like the Thundertaker strategy Except the move itself is actually strong. Soul with Thundertaker and his other moves could never get past a thousand. But Bylon can do that with all the strength. Clearly, we don't need to give him Chugaliang. This mix and match with Victor is working out swimmingly. But for now, we're in grave danger. So, you know, I'll um, disappear and see if we can get this to work. Looking like a no, huh? <laughs> I probably didn't even cut away because the moment I spoke is the moment we've messed up the S rank. Well, that'll do for the video anyway. Maybe I do manage to get the actual S rank sometime after this, but um, yeah, signing out. Bye. <laughs>